everybody and welcome to the latest in our series of videos uh, where we're looking at how you can facilitate language learning for people who use alternative and augmentative communication. Uh, and what I wanted to talk to you today about is how we can use the TV to do that. Uh, and I know that when I suggest that, quite often people are surprised um, and quite naturally uh, think of the TV as more of a barrier to communication, which of course with all its visual and auditory input, the, the TV really can be very difficult for people who are already finding communication challenging. Uh, so we need to be mindful of that when we're using it as a tool to teach new language. Uh, but what I really find is that using the TV can be an incredibly powerful tool for the more reluctant communicators. Um, so those that find it really difficult to communicate and maybe don't see the point of communication, they can really be engaged by talking about TV shows or YouTube clips that they're particularly interested in. Um, and you can use that interest to tap into their language skills and to start giving them models of language that they can use to talk about the shows that they're interested in. Um, and that's normally the way that I would start to try and, and do so with TV, is I would just watch the show with somebody. Um, and as we watch it together, I would comment about the show. So I might talk about how much I like a particular character. Or I might talk about how sad the plot of the, the film is. Um, and I would consistently model that vocabulary throughout the show as we watch it. Um, and I would do that for quite a long period of time with no expectation of a response. Um, and then after a period of modelling um, during TV watching, I may then start building in opportunities to ask questions um, which the AAC user can respond to using some of the vocabulary that I've been modelling. So I might ask them how they feel about the show, or I might ask them who their favourite character is. Um, and if you're worried about what kind of questions to ask, please get in touch with your speech and language therapist because we'd be really happy to advise about the level of questions that your child would find best when talking about TV. Um, I think it's a really powerful tool that kind of gets lost sometimes um, and I hope you'll give it a go um, at modelling some language whilst watching TV. Um, next week Gemma's going to be here to talk about how we can model language while we're cooking. Uh, so I hope you'll check that out next week. Uh, attached to the video today on Facebook there is a, a accompanying document um, which just gives you a few more hints and tips about how you can use the TV uh, to facilitate language learning. So please have a little read of that. Um, and thanks for your time.